Exploring Las Vegas on a budget. I would definitely take advantage of all of the hotels. They have amazing free entertainment. I'm sure we're all aware of the Bellagio Fountains, but did you know inside the hotel, they have the world's largest chocolate fountain. It's right next to a French bakery, so I looked at all of the beautiful desserts. They also have the conservatory in the Bellagio, and I was there during Christmas, but they theme it based on what time of the year it is. Now we're gonna take a walk over to Caesar's Palace, which is right next to the Bellagio. And if you're a Gordon Ramsay fan, make sure to stop by Hell's Kitchen, which is on the way there. And if you're there at night, you're gonna get a cool picture opportunity because they catch this thing on fire. Moving into Caesar's Palace lobby, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of Hangover the movie, but we're gonna head over to the forum shops. There's great shopping here, but there's also a free show. So head on to the very back towards the Cheesecake Factory. They have the show about Poseidon and look at that, we have more flames. Last thing on the list was to check out the statue of David and onto the flamingo. Now there are normally flamingos out here, but apparently they all caught the coronavirus or bird flu, something like that. They were all sick, so they were inside. Pretty bummed about that, but moving on to the Venetian. Now, the Venetian has to be my favorite. I just like to slowly walk around and enjoy myself. It feels like I'm in Italy, and I can watch people on the gondolas. Yeah, I'm not spending $150 to ride a gondola for 10 minutes. No, thank you. So just get yourself a little cappuccino in the square and relax and enjoy the vibes. Now we're going to walk to the Wynn. This might be a hot take, but I thought their flower setup was better than the Bellagio. It was super colorful, a little bit whimsical, but also really elegant. I don't know, everything about the Wynn was just super classy. They have a parasol bar at the Wynn, and it's super colorful and just a fun place to be. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Typically, you have to have a dinner reservation to watch the show outside on the waterfall, but I'm going to show you the free way to do it. If you're at the parasol bar, go upstairs and go to the right and go out the double glass doors. No one was out there, so it was like a little private viewing party. I don't remember this much fire on the trip, but this is at the Mirage and they did a volcano show. I was freezing this night, so it was nice to feel the heat from the fire. Another thing to put on your to-do list is Friedmont Street. This is like old Vegas. Cheap drinks, weird people, crazy street performers, just, just a wild time. Also, they have a show every hour on the ceiling, which is pretty neat. And they also have a zip line. We watched multiple people get stuck. And when that happens, they have to send out a worker and retrieve the person. See, look, they're just crawling back. Remember what I said about the street performers? Yeah, they're wild. This guy, he balanced his head on a whiskey bottle. Insane. He has to have an indent in his head from this. I mean, look at that. Looks painful. So here is the best tip of all. Go to the Wicked Spoon for their lunch buffet. You're gonna save lots of money and you still get crab legs. So there's plenty to choose from. We've got Asian dishes, we've got make your own pho, but the thing that I came for were the crab legs. So I probably had, I had six bunches of crab legs and that's like exclusively all that I ate. So all in all, I had a wonderful time in Las Vegas. It's a fun place to be. And I hope you go check it out too, Little Chef. Okay, bye.